Hi Cancer, welcome to your 2018 horoscope tarot reading overview for the year. I appreciate you for listening and watching. You can purchase your own personal private confidential psychic tarot reading from me on my website lamartownsendtarot.com or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. I also do birth chart readings and love synastry, love compatibility readings. And if you would like any of that or any of those things, contact me on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Also, please subscribe, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. I would love it if you would also follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official. Join my group on Facebook, Lamar Townsend group, which you can find on in my group section on my Facebook page. And I thank you for listening and watching. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and any other placement for the year of 2017. This covers the months of January through December of 2018. So, Cancer, let's get your reading started. I'm going to be pulling a few cards for you from the Universe Has Your Back Oracle Card Deck to see what messages the Universe has for you for your 2018 overview, okay? So let's get started. Thank you for listening and watching. I appreciate you guys. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button, okay? All right, what's coming up for my Cancers for the year of 2018? What messages does the universe have for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and any other placement for the year of 2018? What messages does the universe have for Cancers for 2018? What messages does the universe have for Cancers for 2018? What messages does the universe have for Cancers for the year 2018? All right. So the card, the first card that I pulled for you, Cancer, is you are the dreamer of your dream. Oh, by, by the way, mind, please mind the um, incense I have burning here to the right of me next to my microphone. But uh, the first card I pulled for you is you are the dreamer of your dream, Cancer. So remember that, okay? You're the dreamer of your dream. It all starts within your mind, okay? All right. When you're in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disturbed. Remember, the universe works on love and love only, okay? Um, it works, uh, I'll say, most efficiently and most uh, accurately and, and highly on love, okay? So know that when you're in alignment with love, with the love of the universe, especially, peace cannot be disturbed. Remember, you are loved, you are love, and you are loved cancer remember that as well okay know that true healing occurs when you give yourself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers okay and i think this is really really important for you cancer i'm getting that this is really really important for you looking at the triggers what what are the triggers why do you what why do you allow certain situations certain people to trigger you what's the deeper issue going on here what's the deeper what are the deeper feelings that live below these triggers okay is it does it go back to childhood does it go back to not getting enough love from your parents or you know what what's what's the deeper feelings here? what are the deeper feelings here okay i think this is an uh important theme for you this year true healing occurs when you give yourself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers okay and healing those triggers i think is going to allow you to take your power back from whatever situations or people are taking your power okay and know that obstacles are co of course are detours in the right direction obstacles are always detours in the right direction whenever a door is closed that just means that there's something better out there for us okay so i hope that resonated with you cancer and let's get your reading started okay what is in store for cancers sun moon rising venus mars mercury jupiter uranus pluto saturn and any other placement first house through 12th house for the months of january through December of 2018. What's in store for Cancers? What are the common themes that Cancers 
will be going through for the year 2018. What things can cancers expect? What common themes can cancers expect to encounter in 2018? Okay, trying to get the deck. There we go. What's in store for cancers for 2018? What's in store for cancers for 2018? What's in store for cancers in 2018? What's in store for cancers in 2018? All right, so excuse me while I turn the book, all of the cards right side up because they were all upside down, and I think that's why the uh, deck was shifting like that. It was alerting me that, hey, I'm upside down, but they're all right side up now, so sorry about that. <laughs> so the card at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. So, you know, this is you. This is, you know, the, uh, the page. So this is youthful energy. Um, maybe you are, you know, cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon ru rules children. It rules childhood. It rules youthful energy like that. So, you know, this is a good card to have at the bottom of the deck. This tells me that you are, um, feeling more youthful. You're feeling lighter, cancer. Um, maybe after going through a dark, uh, period. Now we, of course, we've all been going through our own dark periods in some way, but... For you especially, it feels like, you know, internally you've been struggling a little bit and you're coming out of that period and you're becoming lighter and becoming more childlike, which is really, really good. I love that. Love that energy. In the past position, we had the Knight of Pentacles. And I think what allowed you to come out of that inner prison or that prison, so to speak, you know, uh was some new opportunity that was given to you whether it be a job whether it be um a new position at your 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 work or a new position um within a company or you know some system or, or structure that you uh, you're a part of that you participate in um something new came in and and kind of instilled a new energy in you a, a new hope uh faith for the future okay here we have the world card in the present position. So we have an end to karmic cycles and end to karmic lessons. Um, you know, and, and it's a turning point. It's it's a it's a change happening. It's it's once again things culminating, things coming to an end, you know, making some headway, which which I love. Um Cancer, you've grown a lot. Um I'm also seeing pregnancy, so some of you could be getting pregnant pregnant, some of you could be starting a family this year whether expectedly or unexpectedly so watch that okay <laughs> be careful of that if you don't want kids i think you know what to do wear protection you know all of that great stuff i don't really have to tell you um or hopefully i don't have to tell you but you know just in case all right um let that be a psa um but i'm definitely seeing the possibility of getting pregnant starting a family so if that's something that you actually want, then that's a that's a great thing. You know, it's very exciting. Um, it will happen. I'm sorry, I'm all in your face, but I really need some water. I'm thirsty. Delicious. I love water. So um, it will happen when you least expect it. All right. I think the pregnancy will happen when you least expect it. And at the very least, if this does not resonate with you, Cancer, I definitely see some good news coming in when you least expect it this year. It's it's really, really good news. Like, I'm seeing jumping up and down. Good news. Like, oh my gosh, this is, like, amazing. I needed this at this moment. This came just at the right time. Good news. So, be prepared for that. Definitely something that will allow you to say goodbye to something from the past. Here we have the Four of Wands. So it's like a big change happening here, I'm feeling. Um, I'm definitely seeing a move, but it feels like a big move. So maybe you're moving to a new country, a new state, or something like that. Here we have the Nine of Wands in the conclusion, though. So some fear and trepidation um, is uh, excuse me, associated with this change. Which can be expected because, you know, the unknown can be scary for you, Cancers, a lot of the time. Um, 
you guys are super intuitive, so you guys are really, really, really good at manifesting and seeing things before they happen, but at the same time, it can be scary for you um, in the moment. Here we have the Three of Wands, the Justice card, the Six of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. I'm hearing follow follow your intuition when with any legal matters. Um, that's very important. Follow your intuition with any legal matters. Um, for example, if your intuition is telling you that you need an attorney, get an attorney, cancer, um, don't hesitate. You know, um, just do it. All right. <clears throat> that's not going to resonate with everyone. But I think overall, cancer, listen to your intuition. Don't hesitate. Just do it. Okay. big energy of letting go of the past and actively working actively doing things to let go of the past whether it be you know um looking for new friends looking for uh new spaces to inhabit or so to speak like for example if you like to go to coffee shops and you like to go to this one particular coffee shop you may start to go elsewhere find another coffee shop to to kind of occupy um, and it's kind of you, you know, your energy is changing, your, your vibe is changing, your frequency is changing, and, you know, therefore your, your, your surroundings need to change. Some of your surroundings need to change, and, um, it just is what it is, you know, um, Good year for family, you know, I see family becoming closer, family becoming tighter, and I think that's what's going to really make you happy at the end of the day and really ground you is your family and the closeness of your family, okay, so I love that. Um, especially if you guys have gone through something recently that was kind of difficult, like as a family, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this year, 2018, is going to be a really peaceful year for you guys to really find your balance, you know, and, you know restore the family okay so i love that all right so cancers now let's look at what's going on for my couple cancers my couple cancers my cancers who are married and then we'll look at the singles okay so let's see what's coming up for my couple cancers in love what's coming up for my couple cancers already in love already in, in relationships already married what's in store for my cancers who are coupled already for, uh, for the year of 2018 what's in store for my couple cancers during the months of january through december of 2018 what's in store for cancers sun moon rising venus mars mercury and any other placement jupiter uranus saturn pluto first through 12th house for the months of january through december of 2018 what's in store for my cancers for the year of 2018 i mean my couple of cancers what's in store for my couple of cancers for the year 2018 once again i'm seeing like a family starting a family um ah and then at the bottom of the deck is the is the sun card and the sun card for me sometimes is uh, a lot of the times it can be pregnancy it can be a baby there's a baby on the horse you know what i'm saying so i'm definitely seeing a baby in the wings for a lot of you um, you know, I'm seeing sunny times, happiness, um, inclusion in the family as well. So, you know, this once again feels like a very family oriented year for you, Cancer, um, in the sense that, um, once again, family is becoming more close knit and tighter, you know, um, families filtering out, uh, the, the good seeds and the bad seeds. And that includes, uh, family members lovers and, and dating partners um so this is almost like really your partner being included in the family like if you have a baby it's like this is your your partner's final induction into the family like this is the, his his or her official induction into the family you know um of course getting ma uh, getting married if that's your thing being the the you know icing on the cake i guess um if that's your thing because maybe not everyone wants marriage i don't know you know it's your prerogative cancer the ace of swords here in the past position 
the nine of swords here in the present position the three of wands in the future position and the emperor in the conclusion Hearing my way or the highway, and the emperor can sometimes inhabit that energy, my way or the highway. Um, some of you could have had uh, issues with your partner um, in terms of the, the trajectory of the relationship, where it was heading, where it's heading still. Um, maybe you guys are coming from different um, spaces, I'm feeling, I'm sensing. Uh, like maybe one of you wants marriage, and maybe one, the other doesn't. Um, and I think that could come to a head this year, but it could also, um, be a catalyst for finding a resolution to it. Um, because if you truly love one another, if love is truly the basis here, you'll find a way to make it work. Okay. So, um, I am seeing where there could be a lot of issues, you know, some inner work that needs to be done with each individual partner. Um, one partner, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, could be, you know, going through a rough patch in the beginning of the year. You know, um, they, they just may be, you know, going through a rough patch, trying to work things out internally, figure some things out. Um, try to be easy on, on that air sign, um, but also try to be encouraging. Um, some of you could definitely be dealing with an air sign, um, or a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Cancer, um, some of you could be being manipulated by an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, and that may come to a head as well sometime this year. So I'm seeing a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different, um, a lot of different scenarios here. Um, be careful of moving in too fast with one another. If, if that's what's going on here, be careful of moving in too fast. That could cause a problem I'm seeing. Um, always go with your gut, trust your instinct. Um, you know, like I said, family is going to be really close and, and, uh, so listen to your family. I feel like your family has your best self interest at heart. So if they're seeing anything going awry, if they're seeing anything that's disturbing to them and they bring it up to you, take it seriously. All right. Um, I don't mean to scare you, but, um, Sometimes family, and I'm not even going to say friends, sometimes family sees things before we see them, all right? And I think I'm going to end on that note for you, couple cancers. Either way, happiness, love, joy for a lot of you, you know, good family, you know, starting a family, you know, things get deepening, um, you know, the relationship getting stronger and, and strengthening this year, I think, and also being um, more included inclusion in the family, you know, in, in terms of both of your families, I think is really important. Um, I think, you know, if there was anyone who was uh, hardened to your relationship with one another, those people are starting to soften. I think your love for one another is starting to soften those people. All right. All right, cancers. So let's move on to my uh, single cancers. And see what's going on for you guys. If you guys would like me to look at your individual uh, situations, your individual situations, please contact me on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com, okay? So, what's in store for my single cancers for the year of 2018? What's in store for my single cancers for the year of 2018 what's in store for my single cancer sun moon rising venus mars mercury jupiter uranus pluto first through 12th house for the months of jan during the months of january through december of 2018 what's in store uh for the love lives uh and the dating lives of my single cancers will they find love 
Will they find love? Will my single cancers find love? What's in store for my single cancers in 2018? I'm hearing Lady Gaga is Mary the Knight, and at the card at the bottom of the deck is the death card. So that's very, very interesting. Um, maybe you need to marry the night cancer. Maybe you need to marry the, in, uh, AKA love the shadow side of yourself, love all parts of yourself, the good and the bad. I think you are, by the way, the death card denotes a transition, a transformation, you know, in our life. It does not mean literal death. Um, it can mean death to a situation, death to a behavior, way of thinking and that just means an ending, a transformation. You know what I'm saying? Transition. So anyways, definitely a transition going on here, but it feels more so in the mental space, okay? Um, owning your darkness, owning your your dark sides, your um, shadow sides of your personality and not shying away from them or hiding from them, hiding from them or acting like they don't exist. Um, these things only magnify that part of yourself that you're trying to hide um which can actually turn people off turn people away cancer um you know people who love themselves um unconditionally who love all parts of themselves are much more attractive okay and those who recognize all parts of themselves too and don't have blind spots to the to their own self is also important and attractive okay so in the past position we have the judgment card Oh, okay, in the present position, we have the lover's card. So I think you do want love. You are looking for love this year, Cancer. Love is on your mind. It's on your, your crown chakra, your solar plexus. It's all over you, Cancer. <laughs> um, and I think you're going to find it. You may find it if you do the inner work. And I think, you know, it's happening already here. You know, I think this is kind of denoting that okay so the two of cups you know is you know a friendship so of course it you know starting as a friend starting with friendship is always important Por important it makes the relationship stronger it usually you know creates a stronger foundation you know um and allows the relationship to grow and deepen you know what i'm saying because you don't go in with intentions you don't go in with um hidden agendas or, or motives right so you know you could you know end up uh meeting another water sign cancer pisces scorpio um but you must know what you want cancer here the four of cups is you know someone who is is being given what they're asking for but they don't want it you know and it's usually a deeper issue with that type of situation you know when you ask for something you know oh i want a relationship so bad i want love so bad but when the universe delivers that to you you know via you know a man or a woman or whoever you choose to date you don't want them you know what i'm saying um and this could be for various reasons. It could be because maybe that in your mind, in your eyes, that person isn't right for you. But the way the universe sees it, the way the universe works, that person is right for you because the, that person is a reflection of how you feel about yourself at that moment, at that time. That's how the universe works. You, you know, the universe only attracts to us. We only we, we attract to us. How the we attract the people to us. Um based on how we feel about ourselves, okay, um, how we treat ourselves, so, you know, there's a need to look at that, there's a need to look at what you want, um, s consciously you say you want something, but subconsciously, do you want something else, do you really not want that thing subconsciously, so, you know, we really, it's a transformation happening here, Cancer, you know, that's what the death card was about, a transformation, an ending, you know, so, in order for something new to come in, all right, a new mentality, a new way of thinking, so that you can attract this Ten of Cups, this this love that you truly want and desire, okay, um, also encompassing both uh, qualities of yourself, masculine and feminine, whether you're male or female, we all have yin and yang in us, we all have masculine and feminine energies in us, you know, we all have sensitivity, you know, which is, uh, considered a feminine trait we all have a little bit of assertiveness in us which is a masculine trait right so we all have yin and yang in us i mean it's important to have a balance with that too okay um i think you're learning to be more independent you're learning to uh trust in your instincts more single cancer and you're learning to let go you're learning to let go 
you know, you're mm -hmm. learning that letting go is beneficial to you. It's healthy. It allows the universe to bring to you what you really want. Work, you know, you're working on manifesting. And manifesting works from the inside out. So, uh, work on manifesting, Cancer. Really work on manifesting. Really work on clearing any blockages you may have um, within your chakra, within your subconscious, within your, your energy field. You know, take some, some spiritual baths, meditate, pray, really do the inner work, Cancer, so that you can attract that which you truly want and desire. Also, know what you truly want and desire, all right? Because you say you want something, but subconsciously, what is it that you truly want and desire, okay? All right, Cancers, I hope this reading gave you guys a lot of clarity and insight. Um, 2018 is going to be a great year for you guys, regardless. Um, you're going to get what you want. Um, you know, if you do the inner work and you commit to it, all right, um, no one said it was going to be easy, but it's a process, a day by day, baby step process. You know, we're always, you know, open to, to change, you know, the universe is always calling on us to change and to better ourselves. So, you know, the only person that can do that is you. All right. So make the change. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for listening and watching until next time. Have a great day great 2018 contact me for your own personal reading i'm always here for you guys on my website lamartownsandtarot.com or email me at lamar.townsend.gmail.com if you would like a personal private tarot reading or birth chart reading or love sinistry love compatibility birth chart reading okay subscribe to my youtube channel hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever i upload a lovely new video i would also love it if you would follow me on instagram at lamar townsend and like me on facebook facebook.com slash lamar townsend official join my facebook group lamar townsend group which you can find in the group section on my facebook okay namaste love and light